I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. They're watching our program today, wherever you are. We've got a lot of, few, we got a lot of top stories today from around the world and our nation. Just uh, head down in the rundown, as well as what's happening right now here at Oakcrest. That's right, we've got those stories and more just ahead. But right now, you're watching the News at 9 on Falcon TV. I'm Joe, and it's Tuesday, February 15, 2011. With me today is Darcel and Ian over at the News Desk. We have news around the country as well as some weird and wacky news and your video clip of the day. Remember, Falcon TV is always on the web. We've got a lot of videos and information you need. If you ever miss our show or want to catch up on the rest of today's show or past episodes, or our contact. Also, now when you follow our Twitter feed, OHS Falcon TV, you'll get all the important club meetings going on this week sent right to your phone. Alright, let's head over to Ian to take a look at what stories are making headlines nationally, and at Ocrest in today's edition of The Rundown. Thanks, Joe. Our first story today looks at entertainment, where if you're looking for something to do on President's Day weekend, there's a lot happening and in and around our area. Lady Gaga comes to the Boardwalk Hall Saturday, and the Grammys on Sunday night. Lady Gaga also won Best Pop Album of the Year. Our second story comes from the business world. If you're planning on using the American Airlines this spring or summer for vacation, beware of new rate hikes. The airlines you will be using I have added fuel surcharges of $5 each way on all of its flights. So start saving and be sure to take the free peanuts. Also, in business, Borders Bookstores is filing for bankruptcy. And finally, in Oakcrest News, the boys basketball team almost pulled out a win against Camden Catholic on Saturday in the Olympic Cape Challenge, falling to a record of 14-4 and four in a thrilling overtime defeat, just one week after beating another top ranked and St. Augustine. That was your rundown for today. I'll be back in just a moment for more of the top stories and some weird and wacky news. Today, we're discussing intensity, excitement, exhilaration, flavor, boldness, and these words. You in the back, wake up. Many words describe Pringles. Boldness. Pringle. Few things like Pringles really help describe flavor. Before we get into the headlines and other news from around Oakcrest and the rest of the country, make sure you head over to Falcon TV's website for the link of photos, videos, and podcasts, as well as a link and information on how to order the uh, Oakcrest Football Team 2010 Football DVD. All right, let's head over to Ian to get those details on from those stories beginning at the beginning of the show. Thanks, Joe. In national news today, the entertainment world is buzzing after Sunday night's grand. In a weird twist of events, bassist Esperanza Spalding beat out Drake and Bieber for the Best New Artist Award. Aretha Franklin was recognized for her lifetime achievements. Justin Bieber, Bieber and Usher came, gave a memorable performance, and Lady Gaga won, won Best Pop Album of the Year. Speaking of Gaga, she'll be at the Boardwalk Hall this Saturday night, unveiling her newest songs from her upcoming album, Born This Way, at 8 p.m. Also performing them in this weekend in Atlantic City are Flogging Molly, Scissor Sisters, Gypsy Kings, and Creedence Clearwater Revival. And next, American Airlines recently announced it will be tagging on an additional $5 to the price of each ticket in the upcoming weeks to cover its cost for fuel. As the price of gasoline has continued to go up over the last few months for all of us driving cars, the cost is much more expensive for jets. So travelers will be footing the bill. Also in business, Borders announced it will be filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The company, which started in 1971, has a used as a used bookstore in Michigan, has not been able to maintain cash flow due to the popularity of books. 
The company reported a loss of $74 million for just the last quarter. And finally, on TV, viewers are getting their torches ready for another season. Jeff Probes and the rest of the cast are getting ready for another season of outwitting, outlasting, and outplaying the competition. Survivor will return tomorrow night at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. for another season. Past seasons, competitors Boston Rob Marino and Russell Hands are returning to the game. But the big question is whether they can make it to the one million dollar prize this time. But if they are voted off, it doesn't actually mean they will be gone forever. In a new twist, people evicted from the island will be sent to Redemption Island, where they will continue to play for a chance to return to the game. That was your national news for today. Let's take a look at what's happening around Oakrest. In Oakcrest News, clubs and meetings are taking place today include National Eye Society, who will hold a meeting in, in room 403 to discuss new members' inductions and a new fundraiser. And also today, the ASL Club, or American Sign Up Language Club, will be holding a meeting in room 206. Also, don't forget to sign up for Girls Lacrosse. Get down to room 100 to be eligible to try out for this team, year's team. The tryouts will be held on March 4th, 5th, and 7th. Also, today after school, an interactive meeting will be held in the senior cafeteria to discuss the updates and future service projects. And the math club will be meeting in room 404D. Tomorrow, a meeting will be held in room 200 for all juniors interested in participating in the prom committee. And finally, if you, if you want to sign up to play softball this year, get down to room 415 to see Ms. Rafe before the 14th. Drama is working hard and coming down to the last few days of preparing for their upcoming musical, Les Mis, which is just around the corner. Happening next Thursday and Friday, February 17th through the 18th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, February 19th at 7 p.m. and 2 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at the door or in advance. Faculty and staff get one complimentary ticket and for everyone else, advanced sales are taking place. Tickets are $8 for all door sales. $10 for, for adults, $8 for students and seniors. All right, let's take a look at our video clip of today. John, your room's a mess. John, you're a mess. I'm not feeling good. I haven't made a video in a couple days and I'm <coughs> having withdrawal. I've been homesick the past two days. I've been drinking tea like it's my job. I don't like tea, but it's my best friend right now. And I just spit out the camera. I drank like six cups in a row two days ago. It's like London tea, so thank you, Tara, for going to London. Who would have thought that it would come in handy two years later? Do you know how boring it is to stay home from school? I don't want to stay home from school, but I had to, otherwise I would have died in class. There's nothing to do when you're staying home from school. <coughs> All the crappy things are on TV. Are you kidding me? So that's when On Demand becomes my best friend. Plus, I didn't even have the energy to do anything. I either slept or attempted to do something and it just failed miserably. Like, for instance, I tried playing Black Ops. Yeah. No, uh, I'm still here. That was a video clip of the day. Now let's look at some weird and wacky news today. We head to San Diego where a 72 year old man who is suffering from circulation problems said he awoke Thursday morning to find some of his toes missing and he believes his two small dogs did it. The, car the caregiver of the man, who his has not been named, called 911 to report the incident. When San Diego police responded, they found blood on one of the dog's faces, some of the victim's toes missing, and a substantial amount of blood nearby. Officers said the dogs were spaniels. Investiga investigators filed a bite report, and emergency crews took the man to a hospital. Animal control has taken over the investigation. The dogs have been secured and will be quarantined for 10 days. Officers said the victim, who suffers from nerve degeneration, did not want the dogs to be taken away. That was your weird and wacky news for Tuesday. Now let's head back over to the other anchors for more news. This month is Black History Month, and all throughout the month, 
Falcon TV will spotlight those African Americans who have made a difference in our world and communities. Here's a look at today's story and how African Americans are making a difference every day. Little Sweetie's town of Kingsburg. This track is where my dreams began. Coaches and teachers at Kingsburg High encouraged me to be the best that I could be. In 1960, I won the Olympic gold medal in the decathlon. Now I come back to Kingsburg and encourage kids at Rayford Johnson Junior High. Catch up on anything you missed on today's or past episodes by visiting us back on YouTube or by emailing us on questions or comments on townproduction at yahoo.com and by following us on Twitter at OHS Falcon TV for announcements and news updates. That was your news for Tuesday. I'm Joe and for Darcel and Ian and everyone here on the Falcon TV news team, thanks for watching today. Wherever you are watching from, have a great Tuesday and a great weekend. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more of the Ocrest news and world news that you need on the News at 9 on Falcon TV. Have a great day. Thank you.